Hello. Um, I'm going to be talking to you today about oxymorons. Have you seen this word before? What is an oxymoron? An oxymoron is when you have two words together which contradict each other. So, for example, maybe you've seen some of these expressions, um, living dead, government organization, peace force, pretty ugly, friendly fire, hospital food. So, for example, here, if something is in the hospital, it's not food. If it's food, it's not in the hospital. So, these words contradict each other. These create an oxymoron. I'm going to talk about a particular oxymoron today. Intelligent punk. The idea of my presentation today is to show you how this is not an oxymoron. The problem is with punk, many people have... Uh, quite mistaken ideas about what exactly punk is. For example, people think that punk is all about skinheads, about Nazis, or people think that punk is something actually very commercial like the Sex Pistols, or like modern bands like Green Day or Blink-182. For me, punk has nothing to do with this. But, punk often has a very bad name. A few years ago in Bogota, we saw this photo in a number of newspapers. This is a, a student and musician who was from Bogota and one evening after playing with his band um, he was killed by a group of, of skinheads. And this is the kind of story we see a lot in the newspapers when people think about punk. But really, that's not what punk is really about. I'd like to introduce you now to a personal hero of mine. This is Ian Mackay. So as you can see, he was born in Washington, D.C. in 1962. He doesn't exactly look like a, a very radical person, but I think he's had quite, quite an interesting life. First of all, from when he was 18 years old, he was playing in this band, Minor Threat, one of the classic hardcore punk bands, and I think they were a really interesting band for their time. They created a lot of good music. More than the music, though, they were very important for this movement. Have you seen this, this symbol before? If you look around, when you're walking around the city, maybe you'll see some graffitis with this symbol. This is the symbol for Straight Edge. This is a movement that Ian Mackay's band, Minor Threat, were part of, and Straight Edge basically was a movement where they saw that a lot of young people were doing activities that were very harmful for their lives, and they said, your life doesn't have to be like this. So the Straight Edge philosophy was to remove a lot of the damaging influences from your life, such as alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, 
and in this way to improve your life, which I think is quite a, an interesting idea. Then, after Minor Threat, Ian Mackay played with Fugazi. Fugazi, for me, again, excellent music, but more than the music, they were important because they allowed people of all ages to go to their, their concerts. They had a very strict policy at their concerts about no violence. A lot of punk concerts at this time had a lot of fighting. People thought it was, it was cool to go and fight. Fagazi said no. The concert price was kept low so that almost anyone could go and see the band. And then album price was very important here as well which we'll look at in a moment. The albums were able to be cheaper because Ian Mackay released everything through his own record label, Discord. Discord, as you can see, was started in 1980 when he was playing with Minor Threat and continues to the present day. Discord is an independent record label, but also very powerful. Maybe you recognize uh, the first two albums, at least. Um, these are both on major record labels. And finally here we have Red Medicine, an album by Fagazi. The first two albums, so these ones on major record labels, if you want to buy these albums in a record shop in England, then these CDs will cost you about £16 each. Red Medicine by Fagazi costs a mere £6. The reason for this is because Discord Records, as an independent record label, are able to negotiate with the big record shop companies and sell the albums at a cheaper price. Again, they want to improve accessibility for all the audience. Finally then, Ian Mackay is a real hero for me because of all the things that he's done over so many years, whether it's playing with his different bands, trying to bring more people into music, his business sense in creating Discord records, as I said, wonderful music with the bands. In fact, he currently has a new band called The Evens, where it's just him and his girlfriend. Very good band as well. And finally, of course, Ian Mackay has proved that Intelligent punk does not need to be an oxymoron. Thank you very much.